I met with Don. He basically says, hey, Jamie, you're deficient in a, in a few things. Uh, try some daily green or try some barley grass juice powder. So you do go and do some research and you find, hey, there's some expensive ones that are great, some cheap ones that aren't that great. Um, and then you're like, you know what? I'm just going to create my own. Is that how it works? Like, how, how did you go from like dreaming of it to actually doing it? Yeah, um, that's a good question. Um, it was really just a step-by-step -step process. Um, first, it was just to have the idea, hmm, maybe I could do this. You know, that's, that's where it all started. And then with Don saying, well, yeah, if, if you can figure it out, then I'll, um, you know, recommend it to my clients. I said, okay, well, that felt really good for me because I'm not like an online marketing guru type of thing. So just starting with no list, no customers, nothing, and just starting from scratch with this product, you know, sitting in storage, waiting to be sold, you know, it's like, so to be able to just kind of start from day one with somebody else's list and be able to have customers right away, I was like, okay, that feels better. And then that gives me some time to figure out the online marketing and, and build my own list sort of thing. So step one was, how do I do it? You know, and I really had no idea. It was just doing some research. I thought, well, maybe I can just buy it wholesale, buy it big bulk, some type of um, bulk size, and then I'll just repackage it, rebottle it myself or something like that, and then sell it that way. Or do I have another company that will bottle it for me and I sell it that way? So it was just doing a little research to say what would be involved if I did it myself and what would be the, the cost, and then trying to figure out, okay, how would, how would I have somebody else do it and what would be the cost? So that was my first thing. Like, can I get it done? Mm -hmm. um, that, that, that was the first step. And then what, what did you conclude? Was it better for you to bottle it yourself or delegate that out to another company? Man, it's like doing it myself was just, I was like, forget that. that. That's crazy. Like the things you have to do, especially if you want it certified organic, you know, to keep it certified, I have to get, I would have, it would just be crazy. And, um, the 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 stand and to keep it to that high of a standards um so that's what i really like about being able to partner with um a bigger company that does it for me because they could do it like the the top standards that would be really a challenge for me to do myself like that's not my business i don't know all of the ins and outs of that they do it day in and day out you know with the clean room and lab testing and just all of the things that they do let them do it. They're really good at it. You know what I mean? Whereas if I was going to do it, it would be a challenge. And then I found that it was going to be more expensive. You know, it's like because of the efficiency of how they do it, they're able to, to do it for, for cheaper than it was going to cost me to, to do it myself. So, so you, it just, yeah. by a mile, it just made so much sense to, to allow them to do it. So then you, after, after doing a ton of research that people watching this now don't really have to do, they just learned from you. Just, the goal basically is to find a company that can, um, create the powder or create the supplement, whatever, and then uh, you make sure it's up to your standards, your your personal quality standards, whatever, right? You say, okay, it's good enough for what I, it's what I like. Then you find another company to actually bottle it for you and ship it for you. So other another company ships it for you as well, or they just bottle it. Yeah, so I was able to get like one one stop shop um, sort of thing. So uh, in my case, we had a product that was kind of the template. That was the high quality expensive one. So I was like, well, who makes it? You know, if I can contact who makes it, maybe they do what's called um, contract manufacturing or private label manufacturing. So I just tell them, hey, I want that. And just put my label on it instead of your label on it. So that's basically what happened. I was able to contact the manufacturer and just tell them what I want. And then they just created it, you know. Um, so, so I did have to figure out some specifics like, okay, what size of a bottle do I want? What do I want the serving size to be and, and things like that. But other than that, I just tell them what I want and then they, they, they create it. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Do they ship it too? No. Well, no, they, um, what I did initially, I was like, cause I like just kind of starting minimalist, you know, I'd like, I'm like, I'm going to put as little bit of, effort and money into this initially just to see if it works like i don't want to build this big of course thing and then like nobody wants it or it doesn't sell or whatever it doesn't work so initially i um i did a small um small order and they just shipped it to me we were living in a in a duplex 
in Fort Lauderdale and the truck just shows up and they like pull this pallet off the truck and they just like right in my parking spot, you know, sit it down. And I just took it into where we lived and, the, and put it in the closet. That's initially how I started. Um, to, so I was just, I had it in, um, in our spare bedroom. That was my little processing um, setup and orders would come in and I would um, pack them up at night and then on the way to work and I would drop them off either at the, the, the post office or, or FedEx. So wow. that's how I started. Um, wow. So you're working at Whole Foods full time while also shipping up balls of Daily Green Boots. And then, yeah. and then eventually the orders of Daily Green Boost got so much that you're able to quit your full-time job at Whole Foods and go full-time with Daily Green Boost? Not exactly. Um, so things went really well um, at the beginning um, using somebody else's list and a very compatible list, I, I guess I would say, for the product that, that I had. It worked out great. So it started, it started selling. Um, and then I said, okay, this works. You know, it's kind of like, the test works. Um, the test proved that, that, that it could work. So then I said, okay, now I need to start putting things in place so that it kind of frees me up. So that's when um, I added fulfillment. Um, I partnered with uh, Amazon mm -hmm. for them to um, pack and ship my orders to US addresses. And then I had to find another fulfillment since Amazon won't ship it outside of the US, I had to find another fulfillment that would um, pack and ship my um, orders that go outside the US. So, so I implemented that and then that freed me up um, to not have to do those orders day by day. But it wasn't that the income like blew me over and I just quit my job. It was actually just, it just happened kind of naturally. There was a transition um, with Whole Foods and my position was eliminated. And so I had a choice, like do I find another position or what do I do? And so I thought, well, it's a pretty good time for me to just take some months and just kind of focus on Daily Green Boost. At the, at the beginning, I didn't have a website. It was like a web page with some like PayPal buy now links or something like that. It was just like really like low budget. So I was like, let me work on it. Let me get a website together. You know, let me put some time into it. And so, and so I did that. And then it got to the point where there was income there, but it wasn't enough to live on, right? Um, especially not in the US. So I came up with a crazy idea that, um, well, what if, we, what if we move outside the US? What if we move somewhere that it's, the cost of living is a lot less, and then this income would be enough to, to live on? So that's actually what we did in the beginning. Oh, wow, you left the US? Yeah. So it's like one thing to like create enough income to live on and then you can create a lifestyle, right? Or it's another to be like, well, this is the income I got. How can I create my expenses to, to match it to where it could work? So where did you move? So we moved to Costa Rica. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. One of my customers that I became friends with, she lives, lived and still lives in Costa Rica. So it just put my, um, put it in my mind like, huh, that seems like pretty cool. Um, and so that's what we ended up doing. 